This is puzzle number 88 from Sudoku to Go, volume 129 by Soap Opera Digest. In this puzzle, we're going to use the diagonal pattern to help make some good progress. And I'm going to talk about the diagonal pattern and what it is and how it works and how it can find a, a hidden corner pattern also. I also have a subscriber request that I'm going to be doing pretty soon. A subscriber has requested that I look at a certain puzzle and solve it in a video. And if you have a puzzle you'd like me to solve, uh, just leave a comment with that puzzle and uh, I'll take a look at it and see if I want to do a video on it. I also wanted to point out that uh, the diagonal pattern and lots of other Sudoku information is out on sudokuprimer.com. You can find a technique section, a pattern section, and lots of other Sudoku information. Uh, you can also go to um, that website to get free blank Sudoku grids. Uh, these grids can be downloaded and printed on your printer and then you can use them for your own Sudoku puzzles. All right, well, to get started, I'm going to just fill in a few numbers and then I'll talk about the diagonal pattern here. I'm just going to put in a few easy numbers. That's a five there because we've got a gate pattern here. And that makes ghost fives here. So we've got a five here, a five here, and a five there, and ghost fives there. So that's a five. That's a 9. That should be real easy to see. And by the way, if I put in a number that you don't under, understand or do something you don't understand, please leave a question in the comments. I'd be happy to, um, to answer any questions you have. All right. Now I just put in those first couple of numbers. Those, those are really easy numbers to see. And uh, now let's talk about the diagonal pattern. Anytime you have two numbers that are kitty corner from each other in the same box, there's, um, this is a diagonal pattern and there's a potential of finding twins in the opposite cells. And the way you do that is when you find a, um, a diagonal pattern, and there's a lot of them here. There's a 3, 9 here, 3, 8, 8, 2, 5, 8, 9, 7, 9, 6, 5, 6. There's a lot of diagonal um, patterns here. But what you can do is, let's look at these, this one right here with the 3 and the 8. You look in this column next to the 3 and 8 and this row and see if you can find two numbers that aren't already in this box that are in both the column and the row. If you find that, you have twins here. Like here we've got a 3 and a 7. We've already got a 3 in the box, so that doesn't work. Okay. Let's look at this 5 and 8 here. We've got a 2 and a 3 in this column. If we have a 2 and a 3 in this row here, um, we'd have two, three twins here. But we don't. Okay. All we have is a 6, six there. Okay, let's look at this one right here. We've got a 2 and a 9 in this column. There's already a 9 in, and a 2 in this box, so that won't work. Well, let's look at this 6 and 9 here. We've got a 6 here, which is already in the box, but we also have a 1 and a 7. We have a 1 and a 7 here in this column and in this row, so these are 1, 7 twins. Now when you find twins, even if you can't solve them, you have what, um, what's called a hidden hidden corner pattern. In this case we have 1, 7 twins here and 6, 9 here. So that turns this into a, a corner pattern. So you can look for numbers along here. There's a 2 up here that isn't already in the box. So we know the 2 goes in one of these two places right here. And it happens to go here because there's a 2 there. So that's the diagonal pattern, and this one's going to help us uh, find some numbers here. 
helped us find this 2 because we knew that couldn't be a 2 there. Now we've got a 3 right here. And the way I know about this 3 is, first of all, we've got a 3 here and a 3 here. So one of these is a 3. And because of this uh, diagonal pattern and the 1, 7 twins we found, um, we know the 3 can go in one of these 3 cells. It can't go here or here. So using double column elimination, which is explained on this technique section of sudokuprimer.com, we know that the 3 in this box has to go right there. It can't go here. Alright, now let's see. We've got 5 and a 5 there, so that's a 5 right there. And that leads us to a 5 right here. And a 5 right there. And a 5 right there. Now we've got a 7 here and a 7 here, so we know that's a 7 right there. And then we can put a 7 in box 4 here, and a 7, 7 right there. Alright, now because of this 7, we can fill in our 1, 7 twins that we found earlier in this diagonal pattern here. And that leaves a 3 and an 8 here, which we can't solve yet. Alright, now we've got an 8 there. one there. Those should be pretty easy to see. And what do we have left here? We've got a 2, 4, 6. 2, 4, and 6 left. So there's a 2 and a 6, so that's a 4 right there. And then a 6 right there and a 2 right there. Then we got an 8 left over, the only, only number left over in that box, and that solves our 3 8 twins that we found. Alright, let's look at this row right here. What are we missing? 1, 4, 6, 8. 1, 4, 6, 8. Here's a 1, 6, and an 8, so that's a four right there. So we're missing one, six, and eight. There's a one and an eight, so that's a six. Okay. All right, now we've got a six and a six, so there's a six there. Leaves us with a six there in row in box two. And that leaves a and that is there's a six here because we have ghost sixes here. And then we've got a let's see six six six. That's a 6 right there. And then we can solve these 4, 6 twins right there because of that 6. All right. With that 4 there, we've got a ghost 4s here, so that's a 4 right there. Also, the last number in that column, we could have found it that way. see here. 
let's see what we're missing here. One, two, three, two, three, and nine we're missing here. There's two there and two there. So there's a two. There's a three there. So that's a nine, that's a three. Okay, now we've only got two numbers here, a 4 and a 9 in this row to complete that row. And then that leaves a 9, puts a 9 there. All right, now we've got a 1, 1, 1, 1, 4 there we can solve. Now we've only got a 1 and a 3 left here we can solve. Okay, with that we got a 3, 3, 3, 3 there. To complete that column, got a 9 and a 9, so that's a 9 right there. We're missing 1, 4, 1, 4 right here. Don't think we can solve those yet. We've got one eight twins here and one four here. Let's see. Well, let's see. We've got an eight there. Let's see. Okay, we got. Oh, okay. We know this is a one. The way I know that is we've got one in one of these two cells. We've got a one here and a one here, so one in one of these two cells. So using double row elimination, we know this, this one goes in the middle row, not in the top row. So we can solve those. If you're not familiar with double row and double column elimination, go to sudokuprimer.com to learn more about that. Now we've only got one number left in row two to, to complete it. And then we've got, so you got a, let's see, what, what are we missing here? Two, four, two, four, seven. So that's a two, seven. What is this? We're missing two eight here. So we can fill in the two eights right there. So that's a four or a seven, and that's a four or a seven. Okay, we know that these one of these is a one and one of these is a one. These are one four twins and one of these is a one. So we know that neither of these can be a four because of the ambiguity rule. And that's on the in the technique section also of SudokuPrimer.com. A very powerful concept. And so we know that four can't go here or here or here. So the four has to go there. And then we can fill in the seven there. And with this 4 there, we can do solve the 1, 4 twins there. And then we've only got a 1 left here in that in row 1. All right, and now we just have uh, 2, five, two 7 here and 2, 8 here. There's an 8 there, so we can solve those, and we can solve the 2 and the 7. All right, that's it. Okay, well, uh, so I guess the takeaway from this uh, puzzle is uh, when you find a diagonal pattern, you, quite often you can find twins, like these 1, 7 twins. And that creates a hidden corner pattern if you can't solve these twins. 
or if you can solve them it creates a corner pattern and uh, the diagonal pattern can quite often help you find quite a few numbers as you saw help us find this 2 and this 5 and this 3 um, very quickly and uh, helped us really make progress on this puzzle. Well thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.